Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44. You can also get me on my Facebook page, True Divine 44, and it is the True Divine for both Instagram and Twitter. Any likes, shares, subscribes, comments are greatly, greatly appreciated and much love to everybody who does that thus far. Love to you all. So this is part of the free content that I put out. Um, I don't always put out the Oracle cards, but it seems like a lot of people are needing them right now and they are good and they have been um, received gratefully. And so I've put out another one today and it is the upper world. So it's number 59, if that means anything to anybody, but it's a, these cards are beautiful, I love them. And so it's all in blue um it's this it's this owl-like creature um with almost extended translucent wings um obviously above a world and so this upper world speaks to our um need for and calling to be our true actualized self our self-actualization and that it is speaking to what we see as a um, test, as an irritation, as an upset, is actually the invitation to um, be carving and, and creating and chiseling your way into your self-actualization, into your true capacity, into your true essence, and to use the gift of this physical realm and where we find ourselves in it and all of the tests and things that we go through within it, to see that as, as not just a irritation or something to, to feel forlorn or sad about, but actually to an opportunity to be um, uh, to have the key to have the ladder to more self actualization each time we come around with them. So it speaks of the, seeing it from a different perspective, seeing it from a different perception. And so I think that you know we've been very controlled to. Um, be triggered in these testing moments. And it's not to say that we can't have reactions. That's all part of the chiseling, um, uh, the, the chiseling and carving endeavor. But to be able to control and channel those actions and reactions, to be able to lift ourselves above them when the time calls for that, is uh, all helping us to get to this self-actualization of our true essence, of our true capacity. And so to see it as a gift, um, to not expect that you would cross the Grand Canyon in one or two steps, but to be able to know that you're going to get maybe banged up and bruised, you're maybe going to get a little bit tired, a little bit achy, um, to be able to reach that endeavor. But when you reach that endeavor, the sight that you will see will make you feel like you are already and you are part of the upper world. And so it speaks to your own personal upper world. It speaks to your own divinity, your own sovereignty and the true capacity that you have to to expand that with your expansion of self in this very brief physical reality. It speaks to the ability to be able to continuously and infinitely expand your true essence that goes on across all realms, across all time and space. And so this is a real invitation right now, although at times it might not feel like it, although at times um, even being in the moment to contemplate, to feel the sadness that that moment might bring or the difficulty or the anger or whatever those emotions might be, but then to have the wisdom to allow that for a short time and then turn around and transmute it and use it to find and chisel and mold and, and carpenter your ladder all the way up to your true essence and continuously expand that with any difficulty that you are faced with. So just look at that card again um, and ask yourself, why, why be okay with just a mediocre improvement in life? Why be okay with false promises of others when you are your God, you are your goddess, you are the, the divinity that is in your upper realm, you and you alone. 
And so you are the one that has to take charge here. Stop being hijacked. Um, allow yourself to see the true capacity of you, the true beauty of you, the true expansion that is you, the possibilities of you. And really take hold of that and, and know that this experience is a gift. Play it and use it for all it is worth. Really, really challenge yourself in this physical experience, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, all of it, all of it. And so with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you resonate with that because it is a message I would want to resonate with everybody. Of course, it's not going to resonate with everybody. But if I had my will, then it would um, because it is an invitation. And this is a truly um, weird, strange, but exciting ride that, you know, who knows, you know, how many people get to do this, how many um, spirits get to do this, how many spirits get to be in the physical and learn through the physical, who knows, you know, you know, the, but we know that for sure it is a gift and we find bliss even in the most challenging times. So let's find more of our true self, more of our true essence in the most challenging times all together now. <laughs> I felt like a song was coming on there. So um, much love, stay balanced, stay whole. If you'd like a private reading with me or spiritual work, um, energy work sessions, spiritual guidance sessions, you can book up with me at truedivinemedia at gmail.com or you can hit me up at a private message, um, True Divine 44 on Facebook. Like the page while you're there. Leave a comment to let me know that you're a new member then. I'll say hi. Um, other than that, much love. Stay balanced. Stay whole. Mwah. Love you all.